Hi, it's Rest from Pro Tools Expert, and I want to show you three really cool ways to use HDI on pop tracks. I'm going to use it on a vocal, a guitar, and a keyboard in completely different ways. And so the first one I'm going to do is the lead guitar. So at the start of this track, we have this guitar, kind of country style, uh, sort of slide. <laughs> Let me just uh, solo that for a second. I'm going to take, I'm going to bypass the H delay for a second. And what I want to do is just give that some more, some more space in the mix because it sat, sat in the mix dry, and now you'd hear this. Now I don't want to use reverb. I want to use something that's going to give it slightly more life. So a H delay is going to give me that kind of uh, sort of fifties guitar sound. So first I'm going to put it in. Let you hear it now. It's a very short delay, as you can hear, but it's it's got very quick feedback. And then what I've done as well is I've high pass and low pass. So basically I've taken a lot of the bottom end out and a lot of the top top end out as well to give it that kind of vintage feel. What you could do as well is use this analog. Uh, which adds more dirt and filth into it. So if it's off, it's just very, very clean. And if we listen to that with it in. Okay, that's a bit of break up now. Quite like that on three. So we're going to leave that on three as well. So there's that, that's what the guitar is doing. So it's a very, very short delay, uh, very quick feedback, and then dirty it up a bit by taking all the low and the high out, and then add some analog in as well. So that's what is happening there. Now I'm using it in a very interesting way on the piano. Here's a Wurlitzer style piano. And let's just bring that in from, I think, here. So I'm using it differently this time. I want to make this piano sound a bit more vintage. This is what it sounds like originally. So what I've done is I've added, got the delay on zero, basically, as close to zero as possible. I'm using it more as a modulation source. You can hear that lovely depth in there. Let's put that back on again. And again, the analog zoom, we could make it even dirtier if we wanted to. But two is about right for me. And again, the high and the low pass filters. Just to make it more vintage. And I've got it mixed this time, so that's it dry. There's the vintage one. So I'm mixing them together. That's beautiful, that is. Here's it without. It's just too clean for me. And this time, see, I'm on milliseconds. I'm not on the, the BPM setting, which gives me the free ability to move this around. <laughs> That's beautiful. I love that sound. Now the third way I'm using it on is a vocal and I want to go to the timeline this time on the edits because I want to show you what's happening on the timeline with this vocal. I've got H delay on a vocal but what I'm doing as well is I am using some automation because if I play the track without the automation first I'm going to play it you and here's the vocal. We'll just solo it for a second. To him who is able to keep us from falling Be glory evermore it can get quite messy and what I wanted to do is to just do delay on certain words in the track and this is a very common trick when people are mixing uh, pop and rock tracks and the trick to do is basically we can give it automation so I'm not automating the actual H delay I'm automating the actual track so what I'm doing is if I bring up the send for you and let, let you see that send and then we turn the automation back on to read mode. To him who is able to keep us from falling, be glory evermore. To him who is able to keep us from falling, be glory evermore. Glory. Just off all together then in the in the chorus, and then it comes back in here. Glory evermore. 
And why am I doing it from the send and not from the HLA? For the reason is this, if I tried to bypass the HLA, it would just die instantly the minute I hit the bypass. If I turn the send down, it would die. What I'm doing actually is just sending it. So it's getting delay at certain parts in the track. It's very straightforward to do. Basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that this track is down here. See this little arrow here. Then you need to go down here until you find, there's my sends. I want the level there. And I could have used mute, but I want to use level. And then what I basically do is I leave this in the smart tool and I draw in the automation. So if I leave it, if I take it back out again, just to show you, I'll delete it out there for a second. And if I leave it out and in now, it's going to go all the time. The level's all the way up. To him who is able to keep us from falling. Be glory evermore. I want it from the more and I don't want it there. So I literally just mark that. I hover this over till I see that and I drag it down. And now that's down. You can hear it again. To him who is able to keep us from falling. Be glory evermore. Let's all hear that together now, all three parts of the track. Let's take that out of solo mode and go from the intro. And we should be able to hear those three. So guitar, keyboards and vocal. Here we go. <laughs> One last thing to say about the HLA on the vocal, you'll see as well if I open that up, I've got it loads and loads of high pass and quite a lot of low pass as well. So I've got a kind of radio sound on that voice now. If it was all the way opened again, so if it was there and there, we'd end up with something like this, which is which is which is too muddy really for me. To keep us from falling. Be glory evermore. So I want that radio sound, so I'll go all the way up here to about there and down here as well. I get that really thin voice now. To keep us from falling. Be glory evermore. To him who is able. To keep us from falling. And that just sits it better in the mix as well. There's less stuff fighting around in the mix. It's more of an effect than a kind of original of the voice. There's three tricks for using hate delay in pop music. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.